Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're talking about two topics with fractions. We're talking about comparing fractions and reciprocals. So we'll talk about those two separate topics. I think we can do it inside of one quick lesson. All right, so what to expect. We'll talk about reciprocals. We'll talk about converting a fraction into a decimal and then different ways to compare fractions. Reciprocals are going to be really quick. This is what a reciprocal is. You flip the fraction upside down. That's about it. So if I had the fraction of 2 thirds, I would flip it upside down and it would become 3 over 2. These are reciprocals. That's basically what they are. So think about it for a minute. What would 5 over 4 be as a reciprocal? Did you say 4 over 5? If so, you were absolutely right. The only challenge with reciprocals is when you get the number 1 involved. What do you think the fraction of 1 eighth would be when we're looking for the reciprocal? Well, you'd flip it over to get 8 over 1, and you would remember that 8 over 1 is the same thing as 8 divided by 1, or in other words, 8. So the reciprocal of 1 eighth is 8. And that's where things get tricky, because you might be asked, what's the reciprocal of 7? Well, it would be 1 over 7. And that's because the, the number 7 is kind of like 7 over 1, so the reciprocal would be 1 over 7. Those are the only challenging situations are when you get the number 1 involved, but basically, for most cases, a reciprocal is just flipping a fraction upside down. On to our next topic, fraction to decimal. If you want to convert a fraction into a decimal, you simply take the numerator divided by the denominator. That's the top number divided by the bottom number. So 1 fourth would be 1 divided by 4. Let's go ahead and do it. 1 divided by 4. How many times does 4 go into 1? Well, 0 times, so we have to add some zeros in here. How many times does 4 go into 10? 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. We'll subtract, find our difference of 2. We need to add a 0 and bring it down. How many times does 4 go into 20? 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And so we have now solved it to completion. All right, so the fraction of 1 fourth is equal to 0 0.25. You may already have known that 1 quarter is 0.25 um, if you've ever ha had money. Um, but you can also check using your calculator to make sure that, these, that this works out. It's the numerator divided by the denominator, so 1 divided by 4. Pretty straightforward. All right, now we're going to talk about comparing fractions. And to do this, we will need that skill we just talked about, so don't forget it. Don't forget about converting fractions to decimals. Let's look at this skill that we need. First off, you can compare a fraction in, in a lot of different ways. We're going to talk about three. One. If they have the same denominator, you can compare them very easily. Two, if you can see it visually, you can oftentimes compare it. And three, if you can compare the decimals, then you can compare fractions. So let's try um, one example of each of these just to see the different ways that we can compare fractions. So if you can see them visually, so if I have the fraction of 5 ninths and 1 third, and I'm saying, which one's bigger? It's hard to compare them just looking at those numbers. So I could visually show you this is what 5 ninths looks like, and on the same exact box, this is what 1 third looks like. And then we can easily see, oh, 5 ninths is bigger than 1 third. Okay. Now, if they have the same denominator, it's even easier. Look at these two, 5 ninths and 3 ninths. All we have to do is understand 5 out of 9 and 3 out of 9. Well, 5 is bigger than 3, so we can compare. Now, just so that you can see that visually, this is the same fraction we had before, okay? Just shown both with um, groups of 9 in our denominator, okay? And you can convert fractions so that they have the same denominator. That's another lesson, but and we'll go over that in the future. But just so that you know, if they have the same denominator, all you have to do is compare the top number or the numerator. The third way that we can compare fractions is um, if you compare decimals. So you saw these fractions, 
three out of five and three out of four. I drew them visually, so you can see you can't really compare those two visually very easily. So let's go ahead and compare the decimals. So we're going to divide each of those and get decimals with them. We'll start out with five, three divided by five. Well, it will go in zero times, but five will go into 36 times nice and evenly. So 3 over 5 is equal to 0 0.6. 3 over 4, we're going to go ahead and um, divide 7 times 4 is 28. We're subtracting to get a difference of 2. I'm going to bring out a 0. How many times does 4 go into 25? And we're left with our nice even 0. So in other words, the fraction of 3 fifths is equal to 0.6 and the fraction of 3 quarters is equal to 0.75. Um, so we can now compare these two fractions and see that 0.6 is less than 0.75. And I did add a 0 here just because it's sometimes easier to compare. That looks like 60 and that looks like 75. And we can clearly see that one is larger than the other. All right. So that's how we would compare with fractions and decimals. So you convert the fraction into a decimal and then compare the decimals. So just a quick recap here. We talked about reciprocals, which is flipping a fraction upside down. Then we talked about fractions being converted into decimals. And using fraction to decimal skill, we are able to also compare fractions to each other. Any fraction can be converted into a decimal that can easily be compared. You don't have to make a visual. You don't have to make the denominator common. You can just make it into a decimal and you'll always be able to compare fractions. So hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.